channel while he is on here. I just think tonight is going to be fucking showing you guys something about the dynasty that he's fucking always been spoken about by Charlie Moore. And it's that one day he's going to be fucking plugged into machines and you lose fucking touch with reality. So we're going to see the dawning of this process. This is open AI, but Dendi is going up against a sophisticated fucking computer, I tell you guys. But when Dendi's brain is a sophisticated computer in a fucking silver okay? Well, as this final match is getting set up for the day, in between the last matches we have the costume competition, and now we have a little bit of a special treat before we get into that lower bracket match. So we do have a special treat for you guys, okay? So we will be studying the psychology of the open AI model. Getting real deep. Seeing how it says the ability to always maintain a positive mental attitude. A special treat. Now, I should quickly add that BSJ was the first person to defeat open AI model. Indeed, Sean. This. This is something special, so get your bums in those seats. I see you, you think it's time to get nachos, it's not. Sit down. Because we've got I'm fucking entertained, you guys. You guys here at, in the key arena and at home. You get something special every year, and this time I think they may have outdone themselves. It's my pleasure to introduce it. And so, ladies and gentlemen of key arena and at home, Dota fans around the world, it is time for a battle like no other. You've had five players in these booths, five versus five. How about we do one versus one like you've never seen before? I'm fucking exhilarated, you guys. I'm fucking trembling in exhilaration. In for you, and in order to get a one versus one going, we have to introduce your contenders. It is my absolute pleasure, and please raise the decibel levels, raise the roof as we introduce. Raise those DBs. Get those motherfucking decibels up for oh, motherfucking dead day. And they are fully way that his bodyguards in the background there. And dead day is an absolute machine. I would never fight him. That speed. The scene works to speed back fucking daily. And Conor McGregor is currently fucking trending. And I think what I like then, Dave, he is a good person on my RT scene with the absolute fucking shit stay. One way or another, you stand on this stage. How you doing, dude? Amazing. Ah, you've been putting in the practice for this 1v1? Oh, yeah, I'm totally ready. That's not what you were saying backstage. Uh, sorry? <laughs> That's not what you were saying to me. <laughs> well, I'm ready now. He's ready. He is ready. Guys, one more time. Dendi is your first contender. And Dendi is fucking ready, you guys. He's ready to take on. I need to get me one of these. An unknown opponent at this point. For this 1v1, who will stand the test of Dendi on this main stage? Strap yourselves who in. Who will Dendi fight to? It's time to meet Dendi's opponent. Oh my god, what is that? That is not a fucking person. And they are Floyd May with his bodyguards. Pushing out what appears to be a computer wearing a fucking boxing jacket. And I am very entertained, you guys. 
What? And that appears to definitely not be a human being. And he is holding a USB, you guys. Floyd man with his bodyguard. Holding up a motherfucking USB. Plugging it in. To ten days motherfucking fighting. From OpenAI in San Francisco. We brought a 1v1 Shadow Fiend bot to this year's international to match up against the pros. This bot isn't like anything you've ever played against. We didn't program it to understand the rules of Dota. We just let it play lifetimes of 1v1 against itself and coach it on what we thought was good or bad. And now we want to see how it stacks up against the Maybe should have played this Shadow Coach instead. I'm Rafal. I'm with OpenAI. This Shadow is a much better coach though. Greg? Greg, hello. I run OpenAI. Would you like to play a game? We'd like you to try our bot. All right. So before you get started, see some people have had some game days of playing it. Against a Dota bot before. Are you kidding me? Uh, for three months, I played only against the bots. I have more in common with them than a normal Dota player. I don't know, maybe I tried it once just to see what it's like. Pretty much none at all, honestly. Have you ever played a bot in Dota? Uh, yeah, it's sometimes when I just want to warm up. What do you think of them? Uh, they're pretty awful. How good do you need to be to defeat the bot? You don't have to be great. C could you imagine a bot that's actually better than the best player? No. <laughs> so do you think you can beat it? My confidence says yes. Is in my belief in science. Now JC thinks he can beat the fucking open AI bot. I think he's mistaken. Okay, let's do this. But he is the greatest fucking man in the world to ever see. No rain drops, no shrine, no solar. So if I get first blood, it's just over. two kills. It's just gonna be standing one v one. Cool. Okay. Good luck. They're about to take on 10 days of playing, you guys. Okay, we're already in trouble. Oh, this is fine, man. No, I don't think it is, dude. Oh, good lord. Holy sh... That was pretty fast. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. So it's just impossible to kill it. So from the British studies, we've just been able to, um, collect some data. And it appears to me that open bot is absolutely dumpstering everyone. Okay, he's ignoring the fairy fires. The bot is good. The bot is better than I could have ever imagined. It's like playing against a smarter version of me. <laughs> They're not being able to kill me. Of course, I'll take you studies that. The fire is so annoying. Oh my god, he's so fast. No! <sighs> Ooh. Seems a bit impossible. How long does it take to make? A couple of months. Yo, what'd you sign me up for? Do you think Dendi can beat him? Mm, now? I think Dendi would lose pretty hard to it. Good luck, Dendi. Good luck, Dendi. Good luck, Dandy. You're gonna need it. You think he's got a shot? No. So everyone's wishing that they could lock against his opponent, you guys. Oh, man. It really doesn't make sense. Dandy, you've heard about it. Now you're gonna be playing against him. Do you... Can you comprehend the idea? I mean, since oh, the first time the world has ever seen it. ...than you. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to do it. Please. I don't want to believe it. I hope I can beat it. Come on, yeah, it's just he's in game. It's just a bot. I am joined. Let's get the introductions out of the way. I'm joined by two guys from OpenAI, a 10 man team who have been working on this. We have Greg. And this guy looks like the fucking. Now, guys, I'm going to ask you a question. It's very man. simple. You've been working throughout the whole week getting some of the pros in we saw on the screen. Does Dendi have a chance versus your AI? There's always a chance. Okay. We'll be talking more about how on earth this has come to be. But first, I want to get this first game underway. Jakob. Let's hold on to our horses and let's see what you've got, Dendi. Oh, okay. So we're gonna see what Dendi has. The rules, Shadow Fiend, 1v1 mid. No bottle, no runes, no neutrals, no raindrops, no shrines, no soul ring. Two kills or a tower, Dendi. That's not hard, right? Um, sounds uh, super easy against the bottle. So these are rules of 1v1 Shadow on mid. Let's okay. see. He's thinking about it. What we can get. Something good. Have you ever lost a game to the bots in normally in Doha? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so then they have some fact lost the unfair bot. Okay. Uh, Any advices, guys? What should I buy? Okay, it turns like out the best advice at this point is to not block the creeps in game because they open their own bodies that could have fucking blocked it. Then it will fucking block. Block in their room and fucking say it, okay? So the best thing that they can do at this point is not block a single creep in the first wave and just dive and get out. Did you ever think as a Dota fan? 
I should just look at that, and I'm the greatest fucking open AI psychologist, fucking analytic analyzer, cast and narrator, the world's ever fucking seen. So this guy and that guy wants Dende to meet, so he can bring rise to machines. And now he's an expert block. Dende not of the same week. And the rage keep is kind of making his way out of front. This is a good block. Whoa, a but he is that superb. But he will be able to snake his way back in front. Okay, this guy is scary. I need to bring Fosco ready. I never thought I would stand here and watch you play versus the bot and not know who's gonna win. Uh, I never felt so too. This is a spectacular moment, you guys. And he has popped his first out, and he's ruined. And he does raise him back. Oh, you see and he does set up up to counter that raise. And he will raise him again. He's scary. He's dominating. Are you scared of a bot here? Oh! Did it just fake him out? It definitely does that. It's That's a human thing. I think you're a little and he's just getting right clicked, you guys. As you can see, half the amount of kills in the device. I mean, last hit, sorry. Half the amount of sales. And he's just getting all of the sales dumped. I need to do this range creep to die. He's denying. Okay. Okay. And another fast. And some stats. This guy is scary. Oh my god. And he is healing up, he does. Not doing pretty well? No. Then they walk behind in CS. <coughs> no losing CS to the tower. Could go either way still. The cells will be getting really expensive. This bot has been to nail multiple times. No pressure. How about Arteezy? How did he do? 10-0. Yeah, he's trying to raise him. You have 10 no surprises. Okay, bring up some more fast. 24 damage. I guess I'm losing on creeps a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Wait, out us see. Hey, 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 tanking. Oh. Does it feel like a player, like a person? Um, nope. So it doesn't feel like a person, you guys. It feels like some type of freak fucking. Computer fucking stein that motherfucking terminator motherfucker. He can just dumpster any fucking human brain. And there is a bike on him, you guys, it does go on the way of the fucking computer. And this is a great moment for fucking the robots. So and then they use my other team to. Don't touch me. He won't be able to come back. He just has to get his fucking rectum finger back into oblivion. <laughs> As you can see, open AI will always keep the pair made. Amazing fucking psychology within the open AI brain. And it does manage to dump the dead 
And let's see what these people have to say. Stay in your seat, Dending. Well, I'm just going to talk to these guys, these uh, minds behind it. Now, you weren't alone. We have two. We have Greg and Jakob here. Now, I believe the rest of your team are here. Let's see if we can find them. Big shout out to them. A team of 10 devs who have been working on this one alongside of that. Round of applause. There they are. The guys of OpenAI who have just beaten not only Samael, RTZ, CCNC, Dendi as well. You know, one versus one. So let's just talk about this very briefly. Big question first, Jakob. How on earth does a computer learn to play Dota? Yeah, so this bot is quite unlike any bot you've seen before. So we've coached it to learn just from playing against itself. So we didn't hard code in any strategy. We didn't have it learned from human experts. It's just... So that would be such an amazing thing. You were just able to like fight a clone of yourself. So you just evenly matched, and you first try and pop and beat something, and you just evenly matched that. It's just great for personal training. From the very beginning, it just keeps playing as the copy of itself. It starts from complete randomness, and then it makes very small improvements, and eventually reaches the pro level. So complete randomness. I'm guessing during its learning process, it's, it looked kind of like I do. We're talking like it did look bad, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's 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 super fascinating to to watch it watch it train. What kind of like what kind of examples can you give me of like what it encountered on the way to beating Dendi? Yeah, so when it starts out just completely random, so most of the games just end in one of the shadow fiends dying to the tower, not necessarily the mid tower, they just a tower. <laughs> yeah, they just run around the map, and then they you know they fairly quickly figure out a better strategy, and that's to stay in base. Um, so I've tried that one. I've tried that one. Yeah. So so then they spend a while just just basically AFK in the base. They maybe occasionally they, they venture out. They they hit a creep. They push out the wave a little bit and it helps a little bit. And you know maybe eventually they get the last hit. And, and then if we jump forward, what what like what what was the big breakthrough for them? So it's it's it, it's hard to say there is a particular big breakthrough. It's a series of small improvements. So they reach the level of casual players and they learn to play aggressively and then they learn to bait. You know all about that, don't you, Dendi? I know a strategy for my next game. Like you said, FK on base, good stuff. <laughs> it's hard for us to hear you, but I, uh, I do agree that this is kind of ridiculous concept to kind of get our heads around. Um, now, final question, because I know you're ready for game two, right? Yeah? Okay, final question, <laughs> and I have to ask this one, is, like, I have to ask, because I'm not sure, quite sure how, this under how to understand, how to comprehend this. These are pro players. These are human brains. So are you just telling me this robot has failed so many times, it's actually better than professional Dota players? It's played for really lifetimes of experience. And it's played so many games of Dota. It's explored many different strategies. Learned so it is a fact so much better than the human brain, you guys. And it's so we're about to prove what they're talking about just to be pure and fucking garbage, okay? Because this thing can be exploited. This open AI bot that they fucking talk so much shit about is about to get dumpstered by a fucking human being. And that is the highest bottom possible, you guys. Pop is very far. He does seem to be suffering some type of DDoS attack. So this is a head to head battle, you guys. As you can see, the right now Bob constantly gets the great waves aggroing onto him. Cause him to take excessive damage. Missing last hits to the bottom tower. Oh, that 
and he does have tangos and two more olive branches. Team Human, targeting more network. This is his tower though, but it doesn't quite have the damage. So now I'm trading, but it does fall back to the hot again. This is quite an intense battle, he does. I hope you know you can try and find your fucking turn, guys. This motherfucker at the top, motherfucker John Connor. Oh, he's not around to fucking save him. Hey, what's up? This is a pretty intense battle, you guys. He's on point with his setups every time. And he does have a magic wand now. Much better build, I think. Open Eye of White doesn't have the intelligence to build a fucking magic wand. And they're claiming that it's got some kind of fucking. How you going? And he has got like a six. This is a rather intense battle. I don't know how this one gets played out, you guys. So I'm just fucking messing around. They're going in on a fire here. And it does go the way of fucking humanity. The magic wand really 
det, det er også en tørkning. Og det kan jeg over på. Men jeg var lige der snit på den bonnet. Structures are fortified. Oh, didn't miss this yes, though. Mm -hmm. Dyer's Dyer's team, my back to the fountain. Dyer's structures are fortified. And he does not secure the second kill, he does. And he counts himself as victorious. And there it is. He does actually wipe him off. The face of the fucking earth. It's once again John Clark providing open AI, psychology into his brain. And the conclusion is that it's just under fucking DDoS attacks and never sees a magic wand. John Clark.